Hello, thank you for checking out today's video. Today of note, there is a swarm near the Salton Sea, Kilauea Volcano, and there was an M-class solar flare. In the past 24 hours, Kilauea Volcano has seen an uptick in earthquake activity. The entire island has seen 100 earthquakes in the past 24 hours. This has now raised the watch level of Mount Kilauea to orange. So this is an update from the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. This was released September 21st at 8.26 Hawaiian Standard Time. A few things of note here. Right now they are observing a lot of lava activity on the crater floor of Kilauea, and it has been erupting for almost a year now. We are eight days away from the one year anniversary of the current eruption of Mount Kilauea. It has been erupting since September 29th, 2021. Noted in this observation, the tilt meters around the summit did record an increase in tilt for this event. The update also notes the swarm of more than 80 earthquakes from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. So that's only in a three hour time span. They note that a sulfur dioxide emission rate of approximately 1,055 tons per day, or TD, was measured on September 20th, 2022, but they don't note if that is particularly a lot or not a lot. They just say it's 1,055. Here they say large amounts of volcanic gas are continuously released. Otherwise, in this observation, they say that volcanic emissions may cause harm, so that may be something to watch out for. Here is a recent image that is five minutes old from the summit of Mount Kilauea. A lot of the inside of the crater is cooled down lava. However, we can see this one main pool that is attempting to protrude. Here's another image. It's a few more minutes old, but it is up to date. Here is a gif of the last 24 hours at Mount Kilauea. Focusing on the swarm at Mount Kilauea, there is three particular concentra concentrated regions of the swarm. There is one just south of the entire crater, and then there is two different ones on the rim of the crater, as we can see. In this swarm, it looks like the largest was a 2.9 in the southern part of this swarm. There was also a magnitude 3.4 uh, quite a bit south of Kilauea. Bringing up seismograms near Mount Kilauea, we can see how littered they are with earthquakes. Except that one. That one is just, uh, that one has heard nothing. Also, a few hours ago today, there was a magnitude 5.1 earthquake in the northern part of Iran. Besides earthquakes around Hawaii, there is not too much more 
of note. It has seemed to quiet down a little bit since that 7.6 in Mexico. Coming over to the Salton Sea in Southern California, there was a swarm of earthquakes at its southern tip near Nyland. In that swarm, it looks like there were about 30 earthquakes, with the largest being a magnitude 2.3. Here is a seismograph on network CI. This station is CLI-2. This is channel EHZ. We can see uh, many signatures on here. I'm sure a lot of those are earthquakes. I was able to pull up another station here. It's same network. This is station WWF, and it. I don't know what's going on with that station. There's a station that is basically right on top of or underneath the swarm. This is uh, C A C. I mean C-I-R-X-H on channel B-H-E and it looks like it didn't record any activity past about 11 a.m. Indeed looking at the earthquakes marked by USGS we can see they did stop at 11 a.m. Now just over 24 hours ago there was a magnitude 3.5 near Bombay Beach here. This channel is the accelerometer channel. It tends to only pick up strong motion activity and you can see even this channel did pick up this swarm. A look at yesterday's trimmer map from the PNSN. We can see there are two main areas of trimmer in Central Oregon and Northern Oregon. Today, September 21st, at around 7 a.m. UTC, there was a M-class solar flare. It was only about an M1, but nonetheless, there was an M-class. This is the last 48 hours of our sun. Coming over to weather, Madeline has now become a tropical depression with wind speeds around 30 knots. Hurricane Fiona is currently a category 4 and it is tracking north. And it looks like it might run right into Nova Scotia. So we will be following these swarms near Salton Sea and Kilauea Volcano to see where they take us. Thank you for tuning in and check out the next one.